Hi, so in this video we're going to be looking at the vector equation of a line. So I'm going to start by just sort of making us think of vectors as describing a journey. And what I want to do is make a journey to a point on our line. Okay, so if I start at the origin and I want to get onto my line to start with, so I want to go up to some point on the line. It can be any point anywhere on the line. And I'll do this by going through the position vector OA, which I've labeled here as vector A. And then once I've got onto my line, I want to be able to go to some point on my line. So to go to some point on my line, I'm going to be moving through this vector here, B, where this vector is just a vector which is parallel to my line. And I don't know how many Bs I need to have to get from a to R, but I need some multiple of B, and it can be a fraction, it could be, you know, 10 times, it could be one and a half times, it doesn't matter, but this vector here is going to let me stay on my line and move between point A and point R. Okay, so the vector equation of a line is given by this, where R is the vector equation of the line. A is the position vector which takes me from the origin up to my line, so that lets me jump onto my line. And then lambda is some multiple, some number, scalar quantity, so 3, 6, half, times B, which is a vector which is parallel to the line. So this takes me onto my line, and this moves me a number of um, B vectors parallel to the line, so I can get to any point. So I can get to any point on my line depending on what lambda I use. And I can also have lambda as negative, that's fine, you know, and I can go back down from my um, position vector A. So this will take me to any point on my line. Okay, so first example, give the vector equation of a line passing through the point with position vector i plus 2j minus 2k parallel to 3i minus j plus 3k. Okay, so all I need to do is identify the position vector, and it says it, so it's here. Um, and I'm just going to write it in column form notation. So if you remember what we have, we have i, j, k, so the component of i is 1, component of j is 2, and component k is minus k, sorry, minus 2, so that goes in here, and then it's lambda, some scalar times uh, the vector parallel to my line, so that, when you put it in um, column form notation, is 3 minus 1, 3, and this is it, this is all you have to do to give the vector of equation of a line. A uh, slightly harder example, find equation of lines passing through points P and Q, where P is 2, 0, 5, and Q is 4, minus 3, 2. Now, so all I have to do, I first of all, I've got to jump onto my line, and actually I could jump onto my line at P or at Q, but I'm going to go on at P. So I want the vector, sorry, the position vector, get OP, which gets me onto the line. And if you remember, when you find a position vector of a point, all you do is um, use the coordinates of that point, so it would be 2, 0, 5. Then I need to find a vector which is parallel to my line. So to make it parallel to the line, I'm going to look for the vector between P and Q. And if you remember how to do this, um, and if not, please go and uh, revisit it in uh, another video on this. Uh, I want to go from P to Q, and I do want to go from P to Q. If I jumped on a Q, I'd want to go from Q down to P, but I jumped on a P. Now, I don't know this vector, so I'm going to go through the vectors I know. So I know vector OP, but I'm going back down OP, so negative OP, and then I'm going up OQ, so positive OQ. So that's OQ minus OP. I've just written it the other way around, which actually just means I can take position vector for Q and the position vector from P away from each other, which will give me the vector B, which is the vector which joins P and Q together. So that will be 4 take away 2, minus 3 take away 0, and 2 take away 5. And once I've got these two vectors, I've got the vector which takes me onto the line and the vector which is parallel to the line, I can then write the equation of the line through P and Q. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Now, there's quite a few questions um, on this sort of thing, um, so I'm going to do another video sort of just to extend our knowledge. Okay, I hope that helps.